I got tired of buying calls. You didn't have consistency. Quality wasn't there. I mean, you never knew based on you go buy one and a week later go back and buy the same exact call and it would sound completely different. Or one would run really, really well and you get excited about it and then it would die. You really, it was so finicky. You couldn't condition it right. It never wanted to work right. And at that point I said, well shoot, I can make these. And I started out working, trying to design, figure out a few things. I started to realize what I needed to change and things like that. And eventually ended up after about a year figuring out exactly my own sound. And once I did that, that ended up being uh, me. It offers one of the, in my opinion, the highest quality turkey call and any call that I make on the market because I actually take the time to make sure everything's exactly right because if it ain't, I start over. I burn them and I start over. Quality over quantity, that's the main thing. I go through the quality checks, all kinds of them, and I'll check back and forth. Even halfway through a call, if I find something that's not right that I wouldn't carry myself and actually let go from my shop, I'll take it off, burn it, get rid of it, and I'll start over. I don't let nothing leave my shop unless it is top quality. Probably one of my more favorite tools that I have is from the 1940s, and it still has the old original stamp in it. It still has an old hand-hammered brass ring that goes around the outside of it to kind of dress it up a little bit. But just to think of everything that was made by hand before that, before I got my hands on it, and actually still bringing use to something old, that right there, I mean, that's probably one of my favorites. I'm just thinking about it. Any animal that you do, say it's a squirrel, it's a turkey, or it's a deer, you got to actually be vocal to them, so you're hollering to them, and they got to holler back to you, just so you can actually harvest them. So that's where holler back came from. The grunt calls, they're all handmade. All the wood is all small business, locally sourced type things. I try to stick to 100% American made and all small business oriented. The grunt calls, I've, like everything else, have refined them and worked with them and worked with them. Each one of them, like I said, they're all hand turned. Um, I go through every single little detail on them to make sure that they look like nobody else's. If I wasn't hunting with it, they don't leave my shop. 